Jason, you're looking at a forty thousand dollar vehicle today. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, most people on a forty thousand dollar vehicle would like to put down somewhere between twenty to twenty five percent um, as their initial investment. That would be eight to ten thousand dollars. Now, did you have that amount in mind, or did you have another amount in mind? No, I, I saw the ad for uh, zero percent, so I didn't think I was going to put anything down. Okay. Well, look, we're going to do it your way, regardless. But could I share with you? what happens when you put a decent amount of money down. Sure. Okay? Number one, you lower your balance to finance. All right? And this is sort of the key to making it really adv advantageous for you. When you lower the balance to finance, you've got the option, and I say option, and I'll show you why in just a second, the option for a lower monthly payment. Okay? Were you looking for lower monthly payments or higher monthly payments when you walked in today? Well, I always want the lower payments. Okay. Number three, when you lower the balance of finance, you've got the option to do what most people don't have the option to do, and that is shorten the term. Okay? Now, when you shorten the term and you lower the, month and lower the balance to finance, well, you're, you put yourself in a position to trade or sell it sooner if you so desire. Quite frankly, it just gives you a little bit of freedom, okay? And lastly, when you lower the balance to finance and you shorten the term, you get to the dream payment faster. And you know what the dream payment is, don't you? Zero payment. That's no payment at all. So, taking into consideration, shortening the term, freedom to trade sooner if you want to, lowering the payment and getting the dream payment faster, how close to 8000 could you come? Yeah, I got kids going to college. Yeah. I don't think so. I, I think I wanted to take the uh, zero percent. Okay. Well, you're going to get the zero percent. Not that's not that's not a word. So you uh, don't. I'm sorry. I meant the zero down. Zero down. Okay. All right. And last question. And like I said, we're going to do it your way. Um, most people, even at zero percent, don't want to finance the taxes and tags and such. Would you want to cover those with an initial investment? I can possibly do. Well, taxes on forty thousand. Well, that's probably a little steep for me too. But okay, maybe half of it. I could probably do half. Okay. All right, what am I doing here? Asking working for a payment. Yeah, this is working someone for a down payment. And you know what? The, the two major items I have to leave off this list because of 0% is saving money. Okay? If it's a used car, it ain't 0%, is it? No. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's realistic. No, it's not a problem. I've st I'm still going to give you five good reasons. And when we play this back, I want you to notice, I always tell him, I'm going to do it his way. Because look, I can give you my name and my social security number and you can pretty quickly determine my propensity to pay, right? Mm -hmm. How do you determine how much money I've got to put down? There's no way to do it. No way to do it. So I never want to create an unspoken objection. I never want to be so dogmatic about putting money down that it scares them off. Now, some people are probably going to need to put money down. I'm not scared of put, being dogmatic with them, but that's probably something that we don't find out for a while. When do you guys run, a, uh, run credit on a customer? Since it's possible. Since, since it's possible. Okay, good answer. Depending on your customer, depending on You're working with Jay right away. All right. Right.